Hello YouTube. For today's review, I will be reviewing Transformers MPM3 Bumblebee. Here's his box. A very, very nice box. Let's move him over here. So on the box, it says Masterpiece Movie Series, Chevy, 10 years of Transformers, and then you now have a nice shot of Bumblebee's vehicle mode and his robot mode. On the side, you've got a picture of him in his vehicle mode, in Bumblebee, in his robot mode. It says Bumblebee up there. On the other side of the box, you have a picture of his vehicle mode, 10 years, in PM3. <coughs> On the back, put down battle mask, articulated hands, and removable stinger blaster. And then you have another shot of Bumblebee in his robot mode, and vehicle mode. So that's off of the box. So on the Bumblebee. As you can see, this is his 2007 version of his Camaro mode. It says Camaro right there. We have the mirrors with some nice shiny paint. I think that's paint. Let me see. Yeah, that's paint. But it looks like it's actual glass. We've got these painted little reflectors right here and here on both sides translucent headlights all nice black the Chevy symbol nice black down here and his fog lights so is nice two stripes going all the way back door handles wheels roll very nicely tail lights his license plate says, focus camera, 4NZZ454, California. Another nice show symbol picked out in gold paint. Nice black under here. The underside. Everything stores really nicely. And before we get on the transformation, right here is a stinger blaster. So, let me remove that. There we go. that <coughs> so to transform him you want to come up here pull out these side panels bring them up and around to however you like just any way you want then you need to pull open the doors bring them open and slide them out and bring them forward Same on this side, bring out the doors, open them, pull them out, slide them forward. Then you want to split the back of the car, and it comes down on this nice die cast part. So, I'm going to do the legs first before we continue. What you want to do is bring these little panels up. You might have to move the legs back a little bit, but bring the panels up. These will tap into his chest. So then you want to bring this part up and around. Then, what you want to do next is do that on the exact same side. And you're going to want move this leg. Bring this piece right here. That'll become his heel later on. Pop it up. And then you're going to want to bring this section up and then fold this back down, which will reveal his foot. Then open that up, extend the legs, and tap them into place. Open up his foot, bring the heel down, bring this down, and bring out this little hook tab. And fold this down to where that this square part goes right over the tab like that. And then take this, bring it up, and tab it into place. And then what you want to do is fold that down and down. And then there is a tab right here that will go to that slot right there. Just bring it up and around, and it will tab in. And there you got a leg all done. 
So same same thing on the other side. And there we got the lower part of the body all done. <coughs> Excuse me. So we need to come to the top. Let me raise the camera so you can see what we're going to do next. Then make sure you have these adjusted. You're going to want to bring his windshield. Let me get it. Up and then fold it down. And then you're going to want to take this piece, fold it in, this piece, fold it in, and then you're going to want to open up this part of the car. Then bring down his arms, rotate them around, and bring them up. Same thing on the other side, up and around. Then what you're going to want to do is on this die cast hinge you're gonna bring it forward oh before you before you do that you need to reveal his head and you just push down right here bring this all the way around and there's his head and then you want to take this piece push it down just a little bit for clearance to push in his head let me just just that get to where you want it and there you go so, then you're going to fold this in one more time, make sure it goes in, and you're going to fold it in, and in here there's just this little section cavity that all this is going to go into and push it in. Then, there is a little a tab, a slot right here, that this tab right here is going to go into, and it all just collapses in on itself. Then in here, there's this tab that is going to go in this slot right there. There we go. Then, on this side, let me move his arms out of the way. There is a little tab right here. And this panel has, and there's another port, and there's a port and a slot right there for all of this to go into. And that reveals some detail. Move this arm out of the way. Just push it up and in. There we go. And then for the wings, you're going to want to fold this piece down and this, it'll tab into place. Fold it down, tab into place, adjust these parts back, and push in the wings. Just these part back, push in the wing, put it however you want it. Now for the hands, you're going to want to pop up the shoulder parts and push this little peg down until his hands click one time, and then there are these two slots where these two posts are going to go into. And there you go. Then just to bring his arm up, down, adjust it how you want it open that little piece. And same thing on the other side. So now that we got that done, what I need to do next is take his head and bring it up. And bring out these two little collar pieces and you can adjust these any way you want. Me personally, I like to bring them up. Let me move my hand out of the way, sorry. Bring that up and then I like to push them back like that. And angle them back just a little bit where they're sticking up and they're angled back. So, there is Masterpiece Movie Bumblebee MPM7 in his robot mode. And by far, this is a wonderful transformer. He is great, and his transformation makes it feel like a transformer. And not it doesn't make it feel like a shell former either to where just the heart the robot is just covered by car parts. This feels like a complete transformation into where you can adjust anything the way you want. Such as this is the movie fir this is the first movie chest look for Bumblebee. But if you don't want it like that, you can adjust it to the Revenge of the Fallen look to where the chest comes out and up like that. If you want it that way. 
But me personally, since this is the, from the first movie, I like to keep it looking like the first movie. So, for his weapons, the blaster has this little peg right here. And if you don't want him holding it, or well, using it, there is a little port right here that it can go into for storage. So, what you do to put this on his hand is, on that arm joint, you need to open this up, bring it back in, and then in here, there is this piece right here where it's square. And there is a square section right here to where that is going to go on. Upside down. It's going to go on right here. So you do that. And there are these two little posts, like on the original, that these are going to go into. Let me zoom up for you. So there's Bumblebee with his Stinger Blaster. I just like to call it a cannon. And it looks really, really cool. And I know what they did with Battle Blades Bumblebee, how they made his arm transform into the cannon, but this still looks like that it transformed from his hand, and it just really looks good. So, and you can also, let me zoom in for you, you can take his head crest, pop it up, bring his battle mask up, around on this little hinge, fold it down, and push that down. There you have Bumblebee in battle mode. And he looks really good. I display him on the shelf like this. Because you don't get very many Bumblebees anymore that have a battle mask and a cannon. So I like to show it off. So, for articulation, the head is on a swivel joint with up and down hinge. These are on a ball joint. His arms have a outward movement and forward mo movement on hinges.